Hello guys and welcome to a brand new video. Today I'm here with Mushoku Tensei season 2 episode number 2. Okay, the previous episode, it was the beginning of season 2 and we met a new character uh, who was, I think her name was Kishiruka? Uh, something, yeah, it was Kishiruka, wasn't it? Yeah, the demon emperor, uh, that's what she called herself and she because of Hitogami, uh, Rudy was able to meet her and get a new gift, which was a demon eye, which is very handy. It kind of gives you a uh, power to see in the future for one or two seconds, power of foresight. And this will definitely help a lot in the future. Like we can see that like Rudy can defeat Ares, that Ares who was like, you know, who's so good at uh, swordsmanship and who was able to score against Rijat. But yeah, like, but we still need more training to get used to it and stuff, you know. And Ares was also kind of sulking a little bit because, you know, like, if finally you were able to reach a goal. Her goal was kind of beating Rudy, you know, at something. So finally when you're able to reach a goal and then suddenly you see like nah that actually didn't happen <laughs> you're obviously you're going to get a little bit sulky and she kind of became like that I don't blame her and uh, yeah and she, she's a kid, kid you know like obviously like, like it, it's going to affect her in a big way but anyways um, that was that and Rudy obviously thinking about what to do now the money problem and all he wants to sell the stuff Richard comes stops him and they kind of have a little conversation and uh, I'm sure Rudy, Rudy after this will consult with Richard more about these type of uh, stuff, you know, this type of important stuff without carrying the burden on his own, hopefully. And in the end, we see the guy who Rudy saved uh, coming in front of him and I don't know what he's going to say. like. I feel as if he's like a smuggler or something then like you know like as I said like Rudy is now going to try to find a smuggler who can smuggle them in you know, without paying that hefty sum and Rujit will like look past it you know like that's the evil that he is willing to condone so like him coming at that moment at that time kind of makes me feel as if he really is a smuggler or something like you know so let's see what happens. So without further ado, let's get started. This is episode number two of Mushku Tensei season two. So I'll be putting the subtitles and the timer here. Sync it to whichever is your preference. Let's get started. All right, so here's a countdown. Three, two, one, go. Okay, the tavern. Wait, what? <laughs> Whoa, this girl's uh... <laughs> Elina Lee. Elina Lee's. Wait, was that her in the previous episode? In the back alley? I'm not sure. Oh my god. Roxy. Uh rank. Yeah. A rank. <laughs> oh my god, don't say that. He's gonna whack you with that stuff. Oh, they know her. Oh, boy. Hmm. What? Is she, like, remembering? Yeah, he's remembering stuff. <laughs> this is a horse. <laughs> yeah, she's remembering her past adventuring days, I'm guessing. Yeah. Fangs of the Black Wolf. Yeah. I can guess. 
<laughs> oh boy, I don't want to find that out, you know? Honestly speaking, what he did. <laughs> okay. The actual thing here is like she doesn't know Ru Ru Rudy's parties. Wait, what happened? So even if they find it was her in the previous episode, you remember? When <laughs> Yeah, I think so. When Rudy was remember going in the back alley? Yeah, it was her. There you go. So this is where Rox is going to go past and is just going to miss Rudy by a little. Hmm. So as I was saying, like the thing is that Roxas doesn't know Rudy's party members. So even after he she saw Eris and he won't be able to recognize them. Okay. Oh, she heard about Rigid. That's why she got so scared. Oh, I also remember. Okay, I realize it now. Like... When she was spying, oh my god, spying on Ares and Rigid, that's why she got scared because he, she, he was a spell. Okay. <laughs> god dog. <laughs> and Kennel Master L, you know. <laughs> yeah okay we're seeing this in Roxy's perspective today so Hmm. Okay. Oh, really? Wait, she was an S rank adventure? Really? So, what about Paul? <laughs> Intelligence. Okay. Okay, yeah, it really took me a little bit to realize that that's why she got so scared when she. Yeah, this scene. Like, because Regis was spared. It, it kind of went past. Like, I forgot about it that she she's scared of spells. Especially because of the past. Here we go. Okay, at least she knows that they're the dead end that they were talking about. There you go. <laughs> Kennel master. Ooh. I doubt. 
Yeah, she cannot recognize because... Oh my god, because of the headband. Oh, and here's where she's go past Rudy, I think. Oh my god. Okay, yep. Uh, here we go. Yeah, it was her, Elenise. I think that was her name, Elenise. Oh, great. Uh, okay. Wait, how did she? Oh! <laughs> oh my god! They boarded the place up. Great. <laughs> yeah. Elena Liz. Yeah, right. <laughs> oh, great. This guy's this girl is a <laughs> oh boy. What? What the? Is that a... <laughs> okay, that's like her delusion. Okay, so yeah, they never met. I guess. Okay, so this guy. Yeah, he's a smuggler, I guess. Oh my god. Liberate certain smuggle goods, okay. Yeah, and Rijet is strong enough to handle himself, I'm sure. <laughs> Wow. Did I don't think that happened. Wait, did this really happen? No, it didn't happen. It's just her, her his delusions. <laughs> oh boy, here we go. Oh my god. <laughs> Where did he get the coffee from? <laughs> oh wow, what is this? <laughs> yeah, just seasick. Oh my god. Yeah, I don't blame her. <laughs> Am I going to die? <laughs> yeah. Rudy, calm yourself down. Oh boy, here we go again. Oh, <laughs> oh my god, great. Oh. Oh boy. Ah, uh, Rudy. Rudy. <laughs> oh my God! What <laughs> the episode? <laughs> oh, oh my God! I miss this really. Oh.
Dunia. Oh. <laughs> oh boy <laughs> wait who's that person in the back sitting i saw someone Or maybe it was okay. This is running. Oh, is this the place? <clears throat> That's like the code, yeah. <coughs> Wait, this is looking suspicious or maybe not. Oh, okay. Yeah. What? Oh, these are like all yeah yeah oh my god yeah smugglers oh my god oh oh my god Okay, let's get out of here. Oh no, maybe... Oh, he doesn't... He's... Yeah, he, he's going to flip out here. Yeah. Okay, I, uh, I thought this was going to happen. Okay. Oh wait, these are the people. Okay, okay, okay. Okay, okay, okay. I understand. Well, Rujit is strong. Oh, oh, okay. Oh boy, here we go. I don't think that's that'll work here, Rudy. Just beat them up. Again, he's taking everything on his own shoulders. Rudy, don't. Yeah. Oh boy. Yeah. <laughs> yep. Yep. Better run. Oops. Yes, Masaka. Oh. Uh, <laughs> oh my god. Oh! Ah. Great. Oh, these are all the kids. Well, Rudy can heal, yeah. 
what oh boy rudy wait what Oh my god, is this... Is this some of the smugglers? Are they still alive or something? Or maybe it's... Oh, it's Rujet. Okay, there you go. Yeah. Wait, didn't he have his hair? Like, suddenly it's gone again? What the hell? What happened to his hair? Oh boy. Whoa! What? Okay. Oh, that dog. I, oh, yeah, yeah, that, that, that dog. That one. We saw. Is this a dog? I thought it was a fox. Okay, this is a dog. Yeah, it is a dog. I thought it was a fox. Oh. Oh, my God. Oh, it has a barrier. Well, Rude is here, so... Oh, that's an obvious looking crystal. Oh, oh, it was weakening the dog. <laughs> that's a huge dog. I, I did not realize it. <laughs> Got a wife and a husband. <laughs> Oh my god. Wait, who the? There's still someone left. No, it looks like Ghislaine's people. Oh, maybe. Oh, I think this guy is one of the allies or something who came to save them or something. I don't think this is just one of the smugglers. Yeah, it's not one of them. What? Oh, okay. <laughs> um, they... Luna? Oh, great. Now we are stuck with these people. And Rijet doesn't even know that. Oh boy. Well, Rudy got kidnapped. Maybe... I don't think... I thought... I... I'm sure these are Ghislaine's, uh, like, you know, people or something, like, one of those... But... I don't know, let's see.
Hmm. Okay, that was a nice episode. Um <clears throat> at least the money problem kind of went away, I guess, you know. Uh because they smuggled them in. And the Okay. All right, that's it. <clears throat> so, okay, this episode, um, first of all, we get to see a little bit of Rox's perspective, you know, the things that happened in episode one, we saw a little bit of it through Rox's perspective. That was basically the first half of the episode. Um, nothing much. We, like, we saw, like, <laughs> the whole thing with, what was her name? E Eli Lani. Oh boy, I forgot her name. Elila Nies, I think something like that, that was her name. The blonde haired girl. You know, she... Like, we saw the... <laughs> I, I really wasn't able to realize it in the first episode, but this episode really showed us what actually happened. And, like, you know, all that, like, you know, like, the things that we saw in episode one, that was shown through another uh, perspective. And things are pretty clear now, like why Roxy was kind of running at that moment, you know, why she got freaked out. And the whole thing of Roxy freaking out at that moment, like in, season, uh, in episode one, I wasn't able to realize. But this episode, it made me remember that Roxy is pretty scared of spells. So <clears throat> that's why, like, you know, when she heard that, oh, there's this person, like, you know, the, 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 no, this team, the dead end, which has a spirit, which has, um, you know, a, a red-haired girl, girl, like the the mad dog, <laughs> the mad dog, the kettle master, and all these things. And that's why when she came across them in in that beach, and he saw she saw uh, Richard, she got freaked out because of the past, you know, because of the stories that she has heard. Like it's like a trauma for her. So you know, and. Like, I realized that, oh, that's why she suddenly ran away in the, in the first episode. And, uh, yeah, and, okay, so then, and we see what they were, like, you know, what was happening. She was running away and barely missed Rudy, you know. And now, like, they were together at the same place, Rudy and Roxy. And now, like, like you know, Rudy and the, the team are gone now. So again, they are like, you know, they're, they're, they're far apart now again. And yeah, that was like the best opportunity for them to meet. But unfortunately, they missed each other. And uh, yeah, nothing can be done. And I'm, I'm guessing after this, uh, Roxy's team will start, like, keep pursuing Paul, Zenith, you know, and Rudy as well. But I don't think that they'll meet Rudy for a long time after this, you know. Because it seems, kind of seems like it, you know, they just missed each other. So I doubt even if they met, meet, it'll be very later on. So probably not now. And uh, yeah, okay, one thing I was a little bit surprised was when Roxy was watching, um, you know, like, where is it? Uh, when Roxy was watching Ares and um, Richard, she sa said something. She commented like, uh, "These two are strong." So I can, you know, I, I can realize that. Yeah, like, I can say that after seeing Richard, she might say that he's strong. But she also said that Ares is strong. That probably means that you know, like Roxy is like a very talented maid. So obviously, when she is comparing someone she's definitely going to compare themselves with herself that's why he, she said that oh these two are strong so i can understand richard but so that also means that eris has really you know has really what can i say gotten stronger by quite a lot like i like you know like it usually 
I don't realize this because you know, like Ares is kind of with Reject, and most of the stuff Reject kind of does, you know, most of the fighting and all those stuff. But it does really make sense because she was trained by Ghislaine, you know, and now Reject. And the, the, another weird thing here is that that same Ares who Roxy said like is strong <clears throat> was defeated by Rudy. Even, even with the like you know like even though it was because of the help of the demon eye but still you know so that means that like you know like they themselves are pretty strong that means like i really wasn't able to what can i say realize that like r since rigid is here all all the time like i think like i myself was kind of comparing both of them to rigid and that's why i never really realized how strong eris and rudy both of them have got you know so yeah they really have gotten a lot stronger and uh, yeah anyways that was just something that i realized anyways okay that was that and then uh like we see like you know like uh, roxy sting go away and like rudy and you know eris there on the ship eris gets seasick and uh, <clears throat> okay now starts the next part where we go to the smuggler's den Rijet is there and uh, so like this time like at this moment i thought that wait a minute is this like uh what can i say like i thought that these the smuggler the smuggling activities that's going on it was actually something that um the guy who helped them what was his name cleaner i think something like that um I thought that this was something that he was related with. That's why when you know, like when I when we got here and when uh, Rudy was untying uh, Rijet, I thought that okay, now what's going to happen here? Like the cleaner guy, I think his name was Cleaner. I might be wrong, like, like you know, like but yeah, I think that that was on his name or something. He helped them to get here. And now I was sure of it after a few minutes that Ruiz is going to get pissed off at this, especially because it involves children. And <clears throat> and I thought that oh my god, like wait, what's going to happen? Is Ruiz going to like kill them as, as as something? But like the cleaner guy is related to this, so like I was kind of getting confused at that. And then because you know like as as. As Rijet uh, said, that he won't condone evil. You know? So the thing that really kind of confused me is that I thought that wait a minute. So Rijet knows that this cleaner guy does these type of smuggling stuff, and he still condoned it. And then I thought that okay, maybe this is what he was actually talking about in the previous episode that he's going to willing to condone evil up until they get out of that place. You know. So the I just think him then then it got very clear like you know like very clear that it was actually not the cleaner guy who is involved in this he wanted to save these people you know and that was the actual um, request you know that he gave them that what well, what did he say just to say like liberate wait a minute um okay oh his name is Gallus I think Gallus cleaner that was his name. Gallus transported Rujet for us. In exchange, we agreed to liberate certain smuggled goods once we reached Zantport. Yeah, this thing. So, so like I thought that Gallus was involved with the whole smuggling thing, but it was not actually that. You know, but it was a little bit different. He wanted to save, and by smuggled goods, at least at that moment, I thought that oh maybe you know some some goods, maybe some. Uh, I don't know some weapons and stuff or something else, you know, maybe some rare materials and stuff. Oh boy Yeah, I just I also got surprised when we when I saw that the smuggled goods that they were talking about were actually children and You know the, the dog I think they called it a mythical beast. Yeah so Yeah, like well everything went well I guess in a way but again like Rudy here was like he uh, i don't know what to say here like i can feel as if like this is again going to happen in the future as well like rudy trying to solve things on his own and 
in a way i really kind of um what can i say uh respect her his whole what can i say like um, conviction of getting his own own hands dirty to help the others like you know like like at the beginning he thought like okay let let me handle this you know not only in this episode we if, if you remember in the first season as well he was willing to blow up a whole town just so that he it would not like you know like uh, just so that eris and rujet won't face into any some any kind of problems so this is the thing that i can really respect it's like getting their own hands dirty like characters like not only in anime like any type of people are usually hesitant in in doing that they like, you know getting their own hands dirty so because he is willing to do that 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 really is respectful in a way because he like you know he can he can get his own hands dirty for people that he cares about that's 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 a great like you know um thing the great quality that rudy has but he kind of like you know what can i say like he he kind of does that a bit too much i feel like you know like this whole self sacrificing attitude you know like this whole self sacrificing attitude is kind of um, counterproductive most of the time and it also like you know this is one thing that rujit was also kind of angry about on on Ru- rudy like don't try to do everything on your own you know what i think this as i said this whole self self sacrificing attitude is probably because of his experiences in the real world what i'm trying to say here is if you remember he was bullied and you know like as, and what what happens like we saw like usually what happens at least from anime that all, all that i've gathered is that characters were actually bullied and we saw like you know he was beaten up he was like you know being what can i say like he was being used as an errand boy you know and being bullied like you know whenever like like extorted out of money like this is what happens to bullied characters and like you know they kind of humiliate them all this stuff so i think this whole thing being a bullied person in the real world probably made his character like this who is always trying to self sacrifice themselves you know because like that's what they like bullied character the bullied character that was that's what happens to them they self sacrifice themselves for other people's amusement that's bullying basically like you know like if like you know like as far as i've seen in anime i have no like clue about what happens in the real world but I'm, everything that i'm talking about is in reference to animes that i've watched you know as far as i've watched in anime like you know like for example a character who's bullied is just walking down the road and suddenly there's some bullies who come they're like oh hello there like how are you like oh it's our best friend and they kind of like you know hug you and everything and then they're suddenly like you know what we're going to this uh, i don't know this karaoke place so um a little money would be better so uh, you're our, you're our best friend aren't you so how much do you have snatches out his wallet uh, like you know starts counting the money oh like this ah uh, this is do takes all the money leaves the wallet and they're like goodbye and they just go away this is this is this thing sometimes it also something like this also happens when this suddenly starts beating up the character and the character is like just just leave me alone here take my money like this thing this is like a self sacrificing like you know what can i say attitude that comes because of this whole bullying like you know thing like people like you know just so that they can avoid being hit you know these like characters they kind of sacrifice other things for example money their own self respect you know they sacrifice this just so that they don't get hurt and like you know that's the most nasty thing about bullying and i think this this is the thing that probably affects his character in this isekai world as well he's just so self sacrificing even though like you know like even though no one's going to bully him here it's just ingrained in himself and i'm not just i'm not saying that he doesn't do this out of the good of his heart he's a good character you know he's a kind character a little portion of it also comes from his good heart that he wants like you know he doesn't want anything to happen to the characters that he loves but at the same time i'm sure a little factor also plays this whole like you know the him being bullied was is also a little factor that also adds in into this and he has this type of a self sacrificing attitude whenever like you know something happens he always thinks that how am i going to sacrifice myself to stop this 
no he doesn't even think about talking with your friends and like you know coming to a uh, like you know a solution you know he just thinks that okay like this is happening how should i sacrifice myself to help to to get out of this situation how should i do this you know and i don't know this is just something that i thought like this is probably like an effect like a little portion of this whole thing is probably an effect of his real world uh like you know experiences and like that's why rudy like you know always kind of goes towards like what should i do what should i do to you know make this thing right again and obviously as i said like you know like he himself is a good person and his like you know his promise to aries that i'll take you back home you know that also is an is a factor here like he wants everything to go smoothly without like you know bothering aries and like you know just shield her and take her back home so yeah all these things kind of i'm getting accumulate and make him the type of person he is that we see now but this time at least like you know like uh, we just said that no rudy like you your hands keep your hands for protecting eris i'll handle this and uh, yeah like rudy ex accepted that thankfully because i don't think he's his uh, what can i say he is ready to you know kill characters like we saw that you know like, like he's just he's just a you know isekai person you know the his morals and everything is something that he got from the real world not this world so in this world people are quite accustomed to killing as we saw how eris reacted when the, you know in season 1 the person's head locked off you know it was bleeding everywhere and eris was like like you know it, it didn't even flinch at that so that really shows the difference in the way people are in this world and in the real world you know so him being in the real world he gets traumatized due to these type of things you know like seeing blood seeing people die and that's why he's not accustomed to this and he he is he's very scared at actually killing people so that's why thankfully like you know rudy uh, rujit helped him here but i think he needs to get accustomed to this you know otherwise it will be a problem in the future it's pretty difficult to get accustomed to this new set of you know uh, morality morals you know norm normal see you know but yeah he needs to do it otherwise like this this world is cruel so yeah he'll he'll need to get used to it but anyways that was that and uh, then we get to the next scene, portion of the dog i think that was a mythical beast <laughs> the dog was cute kind of <laughs> started you know <laughs> oh boy and then in comes these new people who look kind of looks like gelain's people and we'll probably see in the next episode what happens to rudy and uh, hopefully the other people who went to get the kids you know the smuggled kids hopefully they'll meet with rigid and kind of realize that Rudy is not <clears throat> one of the smugglers, and you know, like, go back and report it, and hopefully nothing happens to Rudy. I don't, I, I don't think anything will happen to him. He'll probably be taken as a prisoner, and when they realize that Rudy is actually a good person, they'll probably just, you know, apologize and, yeah, hopefully. <laughs> so yeah, that was it. that was this reaction this was my reaction to mushiku tensei season 2 episode number 2 so if you guys enjoyed this video be sure to press the like button and subscribe if you're new to the channel or you haven't subscribed and comment down below anything you want to say anything you want to let me know i'll check them out so yeah that's it guys so thank you guys for watching and i'll see you guys next week with another episode of mushiku tensei season 2 so until then goodbye and have a nice day